so hey guys this is another video tutorial of windows system programming in this tutorial we will see the event types so there are two types of event auto reset event and manual reset event so before going to start here are the some basic uh, information about the event first one is that event event is an action or occurrence event can be user action or system occurrence example if you see uh, the user action so first example is the mouse being clicked second one is the key being pressed from the keyboard and system occurrence if you see the system running out of memory so there is one event handler function event handler event handler is a routine or function that is used to deal with an event event driven program a program is designed to react means react to a specific kind of user input so in windows event is a synchronization event can be two types first one is the manual reset event second one is the auto reset event and there are two types of states first one is the signaled or non signaled so here are the apis related to event first one is the create event open event set event and reset event so auto reset event auto reset event system automatically reset the event state to non signaled after a single waiting thread has been released in other words if i say so single thread is waiting for an event to occur and return back to non signal state in create event api there is one argument be manual reset and if you put false so it becomes auto reset event suppose if we have more than one thread is waiting for an event then thread will release in randomly in manual reset event this type of event is waiting for particular event to occur until explicit call to resetting the event in non signaling state so basically in manual reset we have to explicitly call to the reset event api so reset event api reset the uh, signal event to non signaled state so in create event api there is a one argument b manual reset if you are uh, putting true so it becomes the manual reset event so put this caller event to non signal state so if you are not aware of how to create event and create thread then you can check my tutorial number 10 for thread creation create thread in windows system programming in c++ and tutorial number 22 for the event create event in windows system programming in c and c++ and you can also check description box where i have provided the link of that tutorial so here i am using the auto reset event program so this program is similar to the create event i am taking that example and i'll do some modification in this code so first understand the code i am using here handle for thread 1 and thread 2 and thread id for thread 1 and thread 2 so simply i am creating the one create event function i am using here so create event function return type of that function is the handle and first argument is the security attribute so i am putting here null and this argument if you see the api here the manual reset in manual reset if in this param if this parameter is true the function create a manual reset event or object if this is false then it becomes the auto reset event so that's why i am using here the auto reset event then the initial state of this uh, event would be false that means non signal state and this one is the name of our event then checking here condition then after that i am using the create thread function i am creating here thread 1 function then similarly thread 2 and then after that i am using wait for signal object waits until the object is in the signal state so wait for signal object for thread 1 and thread 2 then closing the handle for thread 1 and thread 2 and here i am using close the handle for the event and this one is the i am using the global variable and uh, in thread function 2 i'll do some modification so what i'll do here 
in thread function 2 I am using for loop for int i equals to 1 then i less than equal to 2 and then i plus plus then uh, we are setting the event two times uh, so set event two times here and put here some uh, delay so I'm using the sleep function and we have to provide here in millisecond to so 2000 millisecond becomes the two second so in uh, thread function one in thread function one I am using one handle here h open event then here you have, you have to write here h open event and then open event first argument is the desired access so if you see the API of open event so the return type of that function is the handle first we have to put the access mode then inherit handle and then name of the event so if you check here return type is uh, handle so it returns success then returns a newly handle object otherwise fails then it will return non-zero so I'll use this macro event all access so just copy and uh, then after that I'm using the inherit handle so inherit handle I don't know so I put it here false then name of the event so name of the event I'm taking from the create event API my event and then check the condition if h open event false then c out and error number get last error function we can print the error code so open event function failed and uh, error number we can print with the help of get last error function now so paste it here control V then and success then first thread 2 will run then it said the event two times in a signal state so in set event sets the specific event object to the signal state and we are passing the handle of the create event handle so I'll use here okay I'm using two times for loop here and then then if you see just ok no need to control V here and now I am printing message here see out got signaled So what will happen first it will set the event into the signal state because while creating the create event 
I am using here false means non signal state so once the thread 2 will run so first it will set the event into signal state then it will wait for 2 seconds then in thread function 1 I am opening this event here the event name is my event and then we are waiting for the signal to event in a signal state wait for the infinite time then getting signal two times and then thread will run so it's time to build our project so now build has been started okay so now it's building build completed and it's success so go to debug and start see here the create event function success open event function success then thread 2 running then got signal first time then second time then after that thread 1 running so this is the example of auto reset event now move to the uh, manual reset event so I have already created the another program and this is very similar to auto reset event example what I'll do here here I am using the true true if you see the API of create event if you are if this parameter is true the function create a manual reset event so here so that's why I use here a true manual reset and the initial state of signal is non signal state then when the thread to function will run so two times it will set the event into the signal state then here the wait and then okay in thread function 1 I am opening the event then wait for the signal single object to get the state of the event and here I am using the reset event API and we have to pass the handle H open event if you see the API here reset event function so sets the specific event object to the non signal state so and after last I am closing the handle here I forget to write the close handle function in auto reset here so let's close handle and write here edge open event so this one is the uh, auto reset event so move to the close uh, manual reset event and then it will wait for the single object then we are resetting the state of event here non signaled and then we are printing the signaled one then it will run two times and if you see the sim similar example I am using here I am creating the handle for thread 1 thread 2 then create event API bus I have changed here only true so it becomes the manual reset then here uh, thread function here and then uh, wait for single object for thread 1 thread 2 closing the handle for thread 1 thread 2 then closing the he event for the handle of create event so now we have done so just build this project So now build succeeded go to debug start debug got signaled 1 and 2 
then after that thread one is running so if okay let's change here something reset signaled then it would be very easy to understand so now build succeeded if you see the reset signal first times then second time then thread after the thread one is running then uh, done so this was the example of the manual reset event so I hope you understand thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe this channel